Hi there, my name is Tara Burns and I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been here at Triple Mint for about a year and I've been on the Whitman team for six months. All right, give us a fun fact, Tara. A fun fact, everyone is so surprised to learn that I'm actually a classically trained opera singer and um, you want a little tidbit? Yes. From start to finish, the rental application typically takes from right around 24 hours up to 72 hours. Sometimes during the high rental season in the summer, you have to give yourself a little bit more time. Management companies are processing a lot of applications, so it can take up to five business days. And how do I know how much I can afford in monthly rent? So in New York City, you need to make right around 40 times the monthly rent in your annual income. So if I'm applying to an apartment that's $2,000 a month, I need to make $80,000 a year. And if I don't meet that requirement, they're gonna ask that I have our guarantor. Um, I'm a tourist, I'm coming into town. What's your one recommendation for me to do? So I recently discovered that the ferry that takes you down from Seaport to Williamsburg to Long Island City, back to Manhattan, actually you can just hop on it for like $3 and ride it all day long. It is so much fun. I took my parents when they were in town last month and we had a blast. What is your favorite date spot in the city? I love the aviary at Columbus Circle. It's in the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Amazing cocktails and beautiful city views. What's the difference between a fee and a no-fee apartment? So a no-fee apartment is just one where the owner is already compensating the listing agent. So if you're working with a broker, you'll be responsible for compensating your own broker. A fee apartment is just a standard New York City co-broke, which means 10 to 15%. You're working with brokers, the owner is not already paying the listing agent, therefore if you're a tenant, you're responsible for compensating both brokers involved. How do I pick which neighborhood to live in as a first time renter? So I think the most important criteria for picking which neighborhood to live in, it really just depends on whether you wanna prioritize space or location. Obviously, all of the most convenient parts of New York City are gonna be a little bit more expensive. So if you want a little bit more space, be prepared to commute 30 to 45 minutes. What public figure, dead or alive, would you want to grab a cocktail with and chat? So I've always been obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. Um, I've always looked up to her. I think she's just a beautiful muse and I would love to sit down and, and pick her brain and see what her life was really like. If you could dedicate your life to solving one problem, no matter how big or small, what would it be? So lately I've become really passionate about climate change and um, I think with all of the forest fires in the Amazon and, and really realizing this is a real and imminent problem, I think um, we've all got to do our part to make sure that we are preserving our environment. So you live in Hell's Kitchen. If you were to move, where else would you go to? I've always loved the West Village. The West Village just has this charm about it. It's convenient, it's beautiful. Although in order to get the kind of space that I really need and want, I'm gonna have to up my budget a little bit. What's your favorite thing about the women's team? I love being on the Whitman team because we really work in a collaborative, giving environment. And when I say that, I really mean it. Everyone on this team is each other's best and biggest cheerleader, and it's just an incredible place to work. We're wrapped. Cool.